In this mod review, we're going to check out GTM's Kenworth W900B for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Kenworth W900B by GTM um, it's, what is it, GTM, it's GT Mike's in there, uh, so it's GTM Mods, I believe it is, or GT Mods, I believe, anyway, we're having a look at their truck today, and, um, we're gonna, I mean, it was specially requested, a lot of people actually requested this during the week and said, Senior, you gotta check it out, so, that's what we're doing, uh, Kenworth Dealer, in American Truck Simulator, we, that's where we, we are in Elko. Right, let's have a look at the actual cabin, so, first of all, you get a choice of three, which is, just like you do in the standard one, uh, except you can't have the shorter chassis, so you've got to have a long one, which is pretty much normal anyway. So there's your three cabins. All right, I'm going to choose this one. I like this one, the Studio Sleeper. Um, then we go over to the chassis. Now, you've got heaps of chassis to choose from. However, these shorter ones up here are for the day cab. So you don't want to choose those if you're on a, you know, on something else, on one of the other cabs. Um, but you do have, see how it's taken me to the, the right ones where we need to be. See there's short, 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 long. There we go. So here we are. Long. You get the, the uh, 6x2 mid lift, 6x4 300 gals, 6x2 360. Uh, then you get the 6x2 mid lift with 360 gallon. Uh, then we've got the 6x4. 360 gallon, the 8x4 300 gallon, the 8x4 steer, uh, it's the steer axle, so it has the steering there instead of, instead of the steps and as you can see the steps have been removed, which is good, however I can actually see there is a little bit of a oh, okay, they missed a bit so they've put the hub in there, but they haven't got the steering arms, etc in there, so Ah, you don't see that. You won't see that. That's all good. Um, then we have the uh, 6x4. Extra long. There you go. Let's have a look at the long 6x4 and the extra long. Oh, there you go. It's the tank. The tank's longer. There you go. Let's put on the extra long. Why not? Now, engines. Let's have a look at engines. There is so many engines. Now, I did uh, also install the... Uh, sound mod for this truck as well so it gives you a whole lot of extra sounds and engines and stuff like that for the truck uh, rather than just the standard ones so I thought that was really cool so um, I'll also put a link to that in the description as well so you can check that out I do believe it is a must for this truck so uh, we've got uh, let's see we've got N14 uh, what, what do we got I think it's about 405 there is the is the smallest horsepower Ranging up to about, I think it's 600, is it? Where is it? There's 605, 625. What else we got? What else we got then? Uh, 735, a Detroit diesel, and 815. 950 horsepower. 300, uh, that's the uh, Cat, Cat 3408 which is good because they got the 3408 and the 3406. I know a lot of people um, like the 3408 over the 3406, so that's good to see that they're in this one here. Um, me, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm going to... I like the Detroit diesels in these, but uh, we'll just wait and see. Or well, Cummins are good as well. All right, so we got N14. We got uh, the C15, 3406, the Packard engines. We've got Cummins. We have got, what else we got in there, 3406, Packer, N14, uh, then we've got Detroit Diesels, we've got the King of the Hill in there as well, there's the uh, Detroit Diesel 60 series, and there is the 8V92, so there's a lot of, a lot of uh, engines in there that are really cool. Also, there's something that a lot of you may be interested in. Is an efficiency series so this one here is meant to be more focusing on you know fuel efficiency so that might be something you'd be interested in trying out as well um, there's the MX 13 Packard 
another 60 series 8v92 500 so you've got a lot of, of um, engines to choose from here which is really cool now we'll have a look at those later there is a lot to go through so I'm gonna start with the Cummins N14 and we'll come back to that now um, we're off to the transmissions we've got heaps of transmissions with different diff ratios uh, ranging from 10 speed 13 speed 18 speed and there's also an Allison 6 uh, 4500 6 speed in there as well so a uh, 7 speed as well I didn't see that before um, so it all depends on what you want now me I love my 18 speed with retarder really does help me while driving now um, the interior now it's the default interior from the W900 from SCS except for it's got a couple of other bits and pieces in here as well see that cushion and that that has been added in there cushions and the, that blanket um, not sure what happened there I think that's I don't know what that happened there maybe the blind fell down in the back you can't fix it that would annoy the crap out of me um, yes and then we go off to you add wood as well so you can have wood on your dash hey ma I got wood um, but yeah there we go that is it I'm just gonna leave it on the standard one oh, and it changes the color of the seats as well I like the color of the seats but I'm not too keen on the wood there we go I'll just leave it on that one there we go uh, we don't see the seats while we're driving really uh, right let's have a look at colors we've got blue we got white grays we got reds oranges more reds custom color so if you're just not satisfied with any of those custom with any of those colors that it comes with well you can go and choose your own can't you uh, then we've got metallics which is great and let's check to see if the metallics work properly now have a look down here at that fender you should be able to see there we go there's one you can see there's two already now for three ah uh, sorry not down there that's a shiny bit down there that down there you can see it there you go it turns red so that means it is it works yes right now we've got a whole heap of other new skins that have been added in here as well so we've got bars and yes you can change the color to whatever you want um, then we've got Bob bolt and bolt I actually love the look of bolt because bolt is something that you've you see a lot of and there's one truck that I've seen that looks very very close to that color there and it was in sort of a that kind of that kind of yellow drives around Brisbane here I've seen it very similar with that sort of bolty look on there not exactly the same but very very similar um, and there's only one of them but he gets around quite a bit then you've got a cut you've got divided which is you know it's off the standard W900 then you've got the uh, Homer Sierra vintage that looks that looks awesome tell me that does not look awesome that looks great I love it uh, and then there's that one there I like even better look at that that's so nice so much so much thought has gone into these skins and research and look there we go again there is a green version it's like a ZZZ ZZ, ZZ top uh, Columbia it's called that one but you can also change the colors as well on that which is cool uh, George Huron uh, again you can change the colors flames this is probably going to be a very very popular one this one there we go and you can you know add all sorts of stuff in there but anyway um, heavy hauler um, heavy hauler now um, heavy hauler depending on what you want to paint it you can paint it all sorts of different colors so if you want to have it red in there and, and whatnot which is really cool there you go and um, make it more of a heavy hauler looking truck uh, there's the rattlesnake from the original one there is another patriotic American stripes Frank there's Frank's got some pink in him uh, but you can change that so that's all good there you go you can change that if you want and then there is Whitney which looks like a tiger reminds me of tiger skin 
That one. Um, look, I'm going to have to go for... Ah, oh, gee, Type B looks good. There's so many that look so good. But I'm going to have to go for... Where is it now? Am I... Oh, there it is. Right there. Bolt. I'm going to have to go for Bolt. And I'm going to put it in... Where is it? That That's sort of a fluoro. I want it to go darker. Little bit of, there's a little bit, little bit of orange in there. That'll do. Um, and then we have... What's this blue? Oh, that's the, the lines. Okay, we'll make that black. And you can also change those other two colors as well, which is really cool. But I'm going to leave that. No more playing around with that. That looks really cool. I love it. Now, let's go up and have a look at the accessories. Now, accessories. you got bull bars. Bull bars, bull bars, bull bars. Say that really fast. Bull bar, bull bar, bull bar, bull bar, bull bar. Sounds really funny, doesn't it? Um, we've got that one there, which is a new one I've not seen before. I've never seen that on a W900, but hang on. We don't have these W900s here in Australia unless they're um, brought over here from the US. Um, then we've got the bumper firefly and there we go there's a whole heap there's even this one here that's the sort of logging one you see isn't it really um, I'm gonna put on the vision bumper looks like the truck smiling uh, then over you got oversized load if you want to put on oversized uh, we also have the front flags you can put on front flags I've also noticed there's a mod where you can um, change the front, add the front flag of uh, different states in America as well, which is really cool. Uh, then we've got fenders and guards. So you can put the eyelids on or eyelids and the uh, fenders and guards there. I'm just going to leave the eyelids on. I reckon they look great on the lights there. If you can see them. There we are. Side mirrors. If you want to have side mirrors, remember what you do to one side, do to the other. There's the mirror over there, the front mirrors on the side. And also, we have a bug deflector, which is right there. There you go. Now, over here to the air filters, you can choose the air filters. Uh, I'm going to put the lights on. Do they work? Yes, they do. Um, and then we have down there, cab, the cab lights down the side there and as you can see there's just little dots which match the dots there so and then we have main mirrors which I'm going to put on the uh, little mirrors they help for seeing those small cars you don't want to run them over they get very upset uh, if you have Sissel's mega pack it works with this truck as well so that is really cool I know a lot of people love Sissel's mega pack personally I believe that you should have it in your uh, in your game as default because uh, Sissel's Mega Pack is really cool um, and he updates it too which is great then we have little dots the dash dots uh, for some reason the that flag is in there sun visor you can have the mean looking sun visor or you can have that one there um, I'm gonna see how that one goes and we'll have a look once we get inside uh, the lights on top of the cab there. You can change them if you want. Uh, let's have a look. No, there's no new styles. Uh, then we have the horns on the top there. If you want to change those, you can. Change them to whatever you want. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. And then we've got sleeper lights on top there, which we can go and add. Uh, let's see if I can do this a little bit quicker. Come on, senior moving slow I don't know what's going on you're getting old or something and come on there we go couple more and the last one there we go right now up to the back here we have beacon lights so you've got double radiant and then there is the duty radiant which is probably the one that I like best of all I think that looks cool um, turbo wing you can have a turbo wing or you can have the classic spoiler if you want uh, I'm not a big fan of either I like it just like that 
Uh, down the bottom here, do we check those out? That's the kick panel, the cab panel there, yes. Uh, rims and tyres, standard rims and tyres in there. There's no no new ones that you would really you know, jump up and down about. It's just the standard ones. Um, I think most modders leave it up to you to put your own rims on because there's so many rim packs out there that uh, you know there's no need for them to put them in there really exhaust just change your exhaust over you got the little Kenworth logo on the side there you can change that around just like you normally can headache rack if you want to add in how I'll have a headache rack there you go you can go nuts probably if you're carrying logs it'd be a must um, or pipes one of the two last thing you want is a steel pipe going through the back of your head uh, then we have the flaps and yeah I like those ones the Kenworth flaps and I think that is just about it there's a side mirror if you want to have the side mirror on and yep we've done that done that and that's it there we go right let's go on the inside and check it out uh, if I can spin it around there we go from left to right we have the uh, mirrors again you can change those there's your uh, air cleaners or air filters uh, then you have your windshield thing you can have a GPS there wherever you want to have it if you want to put it on there that's a Sissel's thing uh, driver's plate uh, co-driver's plate which is over here uh, dashboard dots which are always good I love my dashboard dots um, what are we going to put on there? I can never find it anymore, but uh, let's just put on uh, a helmet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a full-size helmet. There we go, my little computer. <laughs> no. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, ATST. There we go. That looks cool. Um, up the front, you can see the bug deflector. So if you want to, you know put that on or, or not we we'll just well today I'm not there is the front mirrors steering wheels now uh, you, there is two that come with this you get the wood grain of the standard or you can go through and choose one of Sissel steering wheels uh, again a lot of people do use steering wheel packs to change their steering wheels uh, drinks now one thing that I noticed with the drink if you go and put your drink here it's sitting on the drink holder the cup holder not in the cup holder so that itself is like really interesting why did they do that I don't know don't know uh, now on the ground there you can go and put whatever you want some magazines um, I don't even know I don't buy magazines anymore um, and then we have also you can go and put on the seat uh, a passenger which is cool or water or whatever you want a Pokemon um, Ben Kenobi uh, see there's heaps to choose from because of Sissel's mega pack uh, let's put on um, let's put uh, let's put there we go we'll put on Yasmin Yasmin there we go uh, side mirror there's the mirrors again and there we go stop standing on my magazines woman um and that is pretty much it for all this oh geez now up the top here i forgot to select there's a the sun visor uh make sure before you do it you choose which sun visor you you know you like because otherwise if you get a sun visor you don't like it's going to be you know too low and that so smelly tree heaps of smelly trees to choose from and dangly things um I don't know heaps heaps to go I like the fan see I actually like the fan on the, in that position there I reckon it's cool right that's it let's confirm this there we go look at that truck looks nice do a trade-in on the last mod yes there we go thank you and there we go Ah, oh, drats. I just realized down the bottom there, you can see it says activate windows. For some reason, my windows has expired. I mean, what the hell? 
I've activated it how many times now and it keeps expiring. I don't know. I'm going to have to try and fix that because it's driving me nuts. Right. Going down. I might actually see if I can give Microsoft a call. Hey, Microsoft. My thing keeps... To yeah, they probably get a lot of people saying that. Keeps telling me that it's... Uh, activate Windows. All right, let's uh, let's have a look around. That looks really cool, doesn't it? That really does look... I, I like this so much better than the standard W900. I really do. All right, let's start her up. There you go. There's your engine sounds. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? There you go. Uh, some high beams, please. There we go, high beams, yes. And uh, flashes. There we go, leave the flashes on. Wipers, the wipers are working. Uh, horn, air horn. Yep, that's working. And um, what else? I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? Oh, beacons up the top, we got beacons. Yep, beacons are working. Uh, brake lights. Reverse lights, that's great. This is really good. Really good. Um, right, let's jump on the inside. Wipers are working on the inside, which is great. Turn those off for now. Cross your fingers with push display. And that works fine. Very good. I did not think it was going to be any problem at all. Had no doubts. See, there's heaps of stuff you can go and choose. Right, uh, flashes, turn the flashes off. Now, let's quickly race over and check these engines out. And, um... Check these sounds out, because, you know, there's so many to choose from, which is great once you add that mod in. Whoops. I just thought I'd test the uh, banana brake. Banana. Right, uh, let's jump on the outside, listen to this quickly. There we go. Uh, now, let's go in and check out what other engines we got. Well, uh, there is the C15. Confirmed. Now, I'm going to quickly try and run through these because there is a lot. And uh, this is working on patch 131, by the way, guys. Okay, that was... Go to the upgrade shop. That's the cat. Then the Cummins... Let's try that again quickly. Oh, okay. So that sounds the same. Uh, no. That's not good. 3406. That better not sound the same. Upset a lot of people. Deary me. Deary me. That is maybe not as good as what I thought it was with all these. Uh, for some reason. Let's check to see if there's what errors we got going on here. Any errors and warnings? Um, failed to vehicle truck Kenworth. I can't even read that. Anyway, there's a couple of warnings. That's not too much to worry about. Anyway, um, if it's it gets worrying when there's just miles and miles and miles of errors that that's when it gets really worrying oh there we go there's a different sound there's a different sound awesome uh now what else have we got here we have the n14 which we checked uh c15 the cummins isx 12 
which we haven't checked yet so let's check that one start her up there we go that is cool then we go over here and check out another engine the Packard did we try the Packard yeah we did did we try that well, let's try it again anyway doesn't matter it's too, too many too many to choose from that's the problem <laughs> There you go. Yep, that sounds like a pack R engine. Um, now over to what else we got? Pack R, C15, N14. Then we have C15, Detroit Diesel 60 Series. There we go. And start her up again. There you go. <coughs> Upgrade shop. And 8V. Got to try the 8V. 8Vs are awesome. 8Vs are awesome, kids. There we go. That's an 8V. Yay. That is cool. I love it. Uh, back to the upgrade shop quickly. See what other engines we've got. Detroit De Diesel 60 Series, which we have tried. Um, the Detroit Diesel... There we go. Um, 3408. Confirm. And then over here... Oh, listen to that. Wow, that, that is cool. Um, over to the upgrade shop again. Now, was there anything else we had to have a look at? Detroit Diesel. There's the 8V92. The other one was the 8V92 as well. Um, I think that is pretty much it. Did we check out the 3406? Where's that one? Just quickly going to have a look. Where were you? Ah, oh, there we are. There's 3406. Just want to make sure that I got that one. Um, because, uh, you know, you want to check out all the sounds. All right. Uh, that's a shame. But anyway. Um, now, I am going to put on the, oh, I don't know, I think the 8V, 8V92. No, actually, let's go and put on one of the efficiency series engines. Confirm. Let's check that out. Oh, is that not working? Huh. Uh, let's jump on the inside here. Yes, that's running. It's so efficient that you can't even hear it. That that's that's efficiency. Um, there we go. So let's go back to the eight V ninety two five hundred. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Right. Let's go take it for a spin. Let the brake on. I've been driving a Volvo <laughs> for the, through this week, so I almost shifted it like Volvo pattern. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go down this road. We'll go this way. What do you think, Yasmin? You don't care, do you? Well, it seems to be driving quite nice and it sounds good. 
it sounds good so i mean i think that's great i think it's really good um looks good it's got heaps of options um sounds good and um but there's a, i think that mod that i got for it is uh maybe i should have tried it without that mod first of all i don't know and uh, just told you about the extra options but um look most of the sounds do actually work so we'll we'll just leave it at that so um and it just drives well so i mean you can always tell if it's going to drive well within seconds pretty much mate i'm going to cut in front of you because uh, a truck if it's not going to drive well you'll be able to tell Listen to that engine. Ah, get in the gear, damn it. That sounds really cool. That is awesome, that is. Really is. Well, guys, if you would like to see this in the weekly drive then make sure that you get in vote so uh if you'd like to see this in the weekly drive then punch that like button in the ass and make sure that you have your say because if you don't vote if you don't vote some other truck could get in there and then ah there's gonna be tears it really is you know there's uh is it's last week's weekly drive really there was a lot of people that voted i was very impressed with that and i just like to say keep it up guys keep it up did, did really well but that is pretty much it for me today guys look if, um if this is the first time you've seen junior senior gaming then make sure you head on over to the junior senior gaming channel on youtube and check it out and while you're there why don't you hit that subscribe button but until next time don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and i'm 1010 on the side and remember game on